Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics, yeah, well, and it well, has been well, a long time since well, this well. game has been in my console, yeah. and in an even yeah. longer time, as you can yeah. see, since I've actually yeah. had the opportunity to play with Spider Bite. Honestly, it's probably been, I don't know, like a year and a half, almost two years since Spider Bite and I have actually played in Call of Duty 4 together, doing search and destroy games. It's been a long, long time, and this game right here is the very first game that we have played in about one and a half years. So don't expect, uh, <laughs> don't, don't expect amazing uh, things to happen here. It was just, you know what, it was a lot of fun. I had doubts, actually, first of all. I had it on because I was trying to, uh, I wanted to see if I could play some free-for-all, and I had this running. I just basically had the disc on. And it was on my screen, and I was working on some other stuff. Uh, I think it was actually on a Skype call with Bentley. And uh, all of a sudden on my screen pops up an invite from Spiderbite. I'm like, what? You know, I mean, he just came back from uh, his yeah, vacation in Walt Disney World. Dog, and I see an play. invite from Spiderbite on my screen. I'm like, oh my god, he's going to play Why Call of Duty 4. It? So I'm like, sure, why not, man? I haven't played in a long time. This game is the reason why Spiderbite and I got... Oh, this is where I get... I think I get owned here, don't I get owned? Oh, look at that! That feels good! That's some good knifing. Yeah, I think I died here though. <laughs> okay, well it wasn't the greatest start. What do you want, man? It's been so long since we played this. Nonetheless, you know what? This this game, in all honesty, is the reason why Spider Bite and I started Next Gen Tactics in the very, very first place. So it's it was kind of nostalgic. It was super fun to play. I had a great time playing. We played a lot of games. I got a few other games and everything like that um, that we played. And I'll put the... Uh, I'm not going to post them on the main channel here. I'll put them on our website. And the links will be in the description if you want to watch them. Uh, so just remember, you know, I'm not going to post them here because they're kind of older games. But if you, if you want to watch... Uh, you know, the games we had that night, I have, I think I have got about two other games that I'm going to be posting on our website, so the links will be in the description of this video if you want to watch them there. I had a great time, um, you know, this is, these are the days where I had fun. I mean, I had more fun playing this, and I know, again, I know I sound like a beating a dead horse here, but I had more fun playing this than I have at any amount of fun playing on Black Ops. This was just us just owning, like just, well, not necessarily owning, but having fun. This honestly was just fun. We were having fun. We were, you know, we know our roots. We know what we're doing here. I'm familiar with the weapons. And this weapon here, by the way, I don't care if people say it's a new weapon, blah, blah, blah. The MP5 in Call of Duty 4 was beast. It was the most, I would say, easy to use gun. And you know what? When you play Call of Duty, that's the name of the game. It's not meant to give you you know, the crazy war simulator experience like Battlefield does. It's meant to be an easy game. It's meant to throw the disc in, grab a weapon, go there and have some fun, play a game, make it fast, make it fast paced, and just, you know, arcade style gaming. And that's exactly what it offers you. So, you know, if you have Call of Duty, or uh, Call of Duty 4, or you can borrow it, put the MP5 on, trust me, silenced, or I mean, uh, Spread about uses silence all the time. Oh, yeah, I never yeah, ever yeah. use silence. Yeah. I don't really ever, ever care yeah, about using silence. As a matter of fact, I don't care if they know where I am because I'm just going to kill them if they come running after me. The beauty of it, the beauty of using an unsilenced weapon is you can lure people. You fire it in one part of the map, quickly move to another advantageous oh, no, 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 position, no. and kill them as they come running in, thinking they've got the jump on you. So it can be actually very useful. Silencer is not always needed. You know what I mean? You don't always have to be sneaky, sneaky. Uh, am I even getting anyone here? I honestly can't remember these games that well. Um, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that I was like drinking and hammered. It's just, you know, I was too busy having fun. I wasn't in tryhard mode. I was just kind of like, okay, well, I'll put claymores here. And that was another nice thing. I love it. I know some of you think it's cheap, but it's Call of Duty, okay? You're not going for like MLG style here. You got two claymores. Super awesome. I love, I miss the two Claymore Call of Duty 4 days. You know what I mean? In Modern Warfare 2, they gave you one. They gave you one with, um, I think, what is it? 
one man army or scavenger and you can get a second one but here it was it's you know it's two you got two claymores you could set up a, a defensive perimeter i loved it i loved claymores this is where i started loving claymores and i got really really good i can't remember all the spots obviously because uh, i haven't played this in a long time but um i got really good at placing claymores in call of duty 4 very very effective and i was able to uh Able to get uh, probably 50% of my kills came from Claymores eventually. Anyway, as you can see, our first game is going really, really well. Um, this was awesome. I mean, we hadn't played in so long, and the very first game we come in, we actually dominate. Uh, the team wise, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying me individually, but the team was doing really, really well. I think it was awesome. Like, it was just such a, a great feeling. And I miss that feeling, and I'm hoping to get that feeling back again. Even, you know, I know some people are going to dismiss Modern Warfare 3, but I'm always hopeful. When I play this game, these are the feelings I want again in the game. I want to be concentrating on the game, not worried about attachments, not worried about characterizations. I don't give a crap about face paint. I don't give a crap about, you know, or any of that stuff. I really don't. I just want to play the game. I just want to have fun again, like I did here. I'm not worried about kill streaks. I'm not worried about, you know, stacking them up. All I'm doing is having fun using my weapon, shooting people, and and just playing the game. There you go. Yes, I did end up to on top. It was so much fun. That was our first game. Again, you want to watch a, a couple other games, Spider-Bite and myself playing for the first time in a year and a half, check the uh, links in the description. Peace.